Okay. So in today's lesson, we'll be looking at how to find HCF, LCM and HCF using the Venn diagram. I hope you all know what HCF is. Yeah. What's that? The highest common factor. And then LCM is common multiple. Okay. What about the Venn diagram? What is it? What about the Venn diagram? Okay, what's it? You wanna let me hear you. Uh, is two circles. Two circles with what? With, uh, a middle, kind of. Yes, yes. So Venn diagrams are I used I, I used to relate them as Siamese twins. You know Siamese twins? Yes. Those twins are joined at a certain body part. Yes. Some of them are joined at the waist. Some of them share the same waist. Some of them share the same let's say yes. head, yeah. So let's see them as those kind of twins. Now, so how do we begin? Let's first of all draw the Venn diagram and then show how it works. So Venn diagram, I'm drawing one part like this. And then the other part coming in. Okay, this guy. Okay, now let's give a question like finding the LCM and ACF of 24... And 30. Is that okay? We'll would begin by using hello, the man should be here. We we'll begin by using the prime factorization method. Now, how will you prime factorize 24? Let's begin. 2 and what? 2 and 4. 2 and? Okay, so 2 and then. Two and 12 and 12 which one is composite the 12. the 12 so we can break it down right yes into two and what six. two and six six two and six which one is composite six so we can break it down into three, three. three. into what two, two and three uh, they are all prime right so all those in red are the prime numbers. We can circle them out. We can circle them out like this. Joe. Two, 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 and then three. So the prime factorization of 24 is going to be... Let's go. That'll be what? Uh-huh. Two, two, two. two times... No, two, two times, times two, two times two times three. Exactly. So let's do the same thing for the next number, thirty. All eyes on the board. Who will give me the first, the first pair? All right, three times, three times, three times ten. Times ten. Okay. Which one should we break down? Ten. 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 We call it we call these two things number number bonds. Number bonds like friends kind of. Five times. Yes, so that would be uh, five times. Six. Not yet. Yeah. No, I have to break the ten. So that would be two times. Five. Yeah. Two and then five. Which ones are prime? Three, two, five. Three, two, five. So three. Two, five. So let's pitch three them here. Times. So that'll be three times. So let's um let's start from two. To make things easier. So two times three, three times five. Okay, so if we have this as our Venn diagram, watch here. It's not oh it's okay. Yeah. Okay, I think it's better now, right? Okay, let's give 24 to blue. So 24 and then, and then 30. Mel? All right, what numbers are going to be in 24? Would have um, two, right? Hello? Hi. Kayla? Two, two. two. 
and then three. All right. What numbers are going to be in 30? Two, three, five. Two, three, five. Okay. Now, the numbers they share in common will be transferred to the middle. The middle is the common part for both of them. Is that okay? So let's see if we can cancel out this. So this two go gone, and then it be, it be moved to this place since they share it in common. Do we get that? Why are they three? What is what? Okay. Two times two, four. Four times two, eight. Eight times three gives you what? Eight times three. Twenty-four. So we just we just brought we just uh, factorized this guy, or we wrote it using. Or we wrote it using the product of its prime numbers. Sure, that could also work. Yeah. That's why you'd have to follow. Okay? Yeah. So whenever it gets a little confusing, it means you'd have to pay more attention. Is that okay? So we've written the prime factorization of 24 and then the prime factorization of 30 as well. Kayla, twice already. So 30, 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is what? 2 times 3? 6. 6 times 5? 30. 30. So he agrees, right? Yes. Now the values of 30 is going to be 2, 3, and then 5. Okay, the ones they share in common, you cancel them out and put them here. What else do they have in common? 3. three. So I can cancel 3 and then put this one on here. Is that okay? Yes. Hmm. So, okay. What else? Why is that? Okay. All right. So, that would be the numbers they have in common is going to be in the middle. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Therefore, the numbers here in this session, the numbers here give us the ACF. Is that okay? So the numbers here. So when I want to find the ACF, I'll just look at what numbers they share in common, put it here, and then the ACF is going to be 2 times, times 3. Equals what? 16. Six. Equal to? 2 times 3. 6. 6. Now, the LCM is going to be all the other things they have. So I'll now multiply everything. So I'll select them. So let's start from this guy. So 2. Are you following? Yeah. Times 2. Times 2. How many 2 so far? 3. Yes. All right. Times 3. Yes. Then times what? Five. Times what? Five. Times 5. So 2 times 2. Yes. Four. 4 times 2. Eight. Eight. 8 times 3. Eight. 20. 8 times 3. 24 times 5. 24 times 5. That will be 24 times 10 divided by 2. 120. Exactly. Call to 120. So, therefore, the LCM, the LCM of 24 and 30 is what? 120. Is that okay? Yeah, so it's simple. It makes your work easier. Instead of trying to find the LCM separately and then the ACM separately, you can just go by this and then you get your answer. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, so let's take some few examples and then we move. So find... Okay. Backwards. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Multiplication is commutative. 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. But uh, we write it in this way, 2 times 2, so that it, it, makes the it makes our work easier for us. Please, do we get that? Okay, so let's try this. Find the LCM and ACF of the following 
pair of numbers using you say we cancel them they are here so we just brought them here do you get that yeah so find the LCM and ACF of the following pair of numbers using a Venn diagram ready so start work 24 times 24 and 15 72 and 12 um, uh, 7 and let's say 49 yes one for each group so group one do this group two and we, we change in our next session 